Hello lovely people, how are you doing? It is day one of the isolation, the lockdown here in New Zealand and we're doing fine here. Uh, I'm here with Hank and Lily who are just lying here on the carpet with me. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video, I will say, because uh, our beautiful young chicken decided to come in the house. And I have to be very careful with Lily, who is blind, and the chicken, who seems to like going for Lily. So I had to stop the video and go out. So I'm starting again, but that's okay, because everything happens for a reason. So day one of the lockdown here in New Zealand. I hope everyone is coping well. I know in other parts of the world you've already been on lockdown, whether it's for a few days or whether it's for a week or so. And I hope you're doing okay where you are and you're doing fine. It gives us chance to do things with our families that we perhaps wouldn't normally have time to do. It um, allows us time to reflect about things. So what I've decided to do is every day I'm going to do a video. Uh, now I'm going to, I don't know what, so I'll just um, go with the guidance I'm given on the day. Today I'm going to do an exercise which will help release <coughs> stress from the body and from all the bodies actually, and will help with anxiety. It will release stress from the nervous system. That is Lily coughing. You all right there, Lily? Got a cough. You swallowed something you shouldn't have. Really? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so on the other days, depending on what guidance I'm given, I might do a reading, I might do a healing session, I might do a channeling, I might do a transmission of light language, um, I might get my singing bowls out and do something. Whatever it is that I'm guided to do on that day, I'm going to allow my creative flow to just be and connect with all my guides like I have already today. Um, this exercise I'm going to do today will really help with anxiety and I know I've had some people message me but also I've seen online that there are many many people suffering with anxiety it's the unknown um, and stress because of perhaps um, uncertainty about jobs money and all those things so this will really help you relax. It will take the stress away from your body. Um, I want to mention a couple of other things as well about taking this time to get creative. Now creativity and meditation actually help you do the same thing. So if you're wanting to relax, if you're, yeah, so if you're wanting to relax, if you're wanting to open yourself up more, uh, to help yourself more with the um, ascension process, to um, get more in tune with your intuition, all of these things and many, many more, relaxation is one of them as well, and anti-stress, getting creative or meditating will do all those things. So with meditating, obviously, you can look up on YouTube for meditations, even beginner meditations, get in a routine of doing it, do a meditation every day if you can. On YouTube, there's meditations for all sorts of things. Anti-stress, spiritual activations, uh, you name it, there's meditations there on there for it. So the creativity, every time you get creative, you're actually opening those channels to the universal mind, to your higher self as well. So every time you get creative in any way that you wish, you are opening those channels. You are activating yourself. It really works. When I was an artist when I, and I was painting, 
the actual period of time where I was painting and doing art and crafts before that actually led me to the spiritual path that I'm on now. And I even struggle sometimes with the word spiritual path because it's a natural way of being. It's intuition. We've all got it. We can all do healing. We can all be uh, psychic or intuitive. Um, we can all tune into energy and vibration, all of us. It's whether you choose to or not. So if you're wanting to use the creativity just for relaxation, that's absolutely fine. If you want to use your creativity to help you open up, set that intention first uh, to um, help you with the ascension process, whatever it is. Creativity in many, many ways too. So there, you know, you might like knitting, crocheting, uh, cooking, um, painting, drawing, building something, getting out in the garden and planning things. That's all creative stuff. Um, planning other things, bringing down some, from the creative mind, bringing down some new ideas, new inventions even, whatever it is you're into. Because once you start getting creative and you get that buzz going, that's when you're fully in that space. That central space, that aligned space. And that will cause relaxation in your body. It will cause your frequency to raise. And what happens when our frequency raises? Our immune system raises. So creativity is really, really good for you. I'm going to actually just put Lily out because she is coughing and I want things to be quiet. Come here, girl. Come on, I'm going to put you out here for a minute. Good girl. Come on, let me stay out here. Sit down there. Sit. Good girl. Here we go. So, it's a time to just be, really. If you're in isolation, wherever you are, it's a time to just catch up on things that you haven't been able to do, whether that's with family, reading a book, um, doing a drawing, doing some painting, getting that creative flow going, watching a film even that you perhaps haven't had a chance to watch or a series. Um, whatever it is that's going to help you relax, um, be in that beautiful space of calmness and harmony within. Uh, this exercise will also help you do that. So I think we'll go straight into it. Okay, I'm just checking to see if Lily's come back in again, but she hasn't, that's good. So, I just want you to find yourself somewhere comfortable to be whether it's sitting down in a chair lying down even it's fine you can do this exercise any time of the day if you're getting stressed definitely do it uh, if you just want to relax more do it uh, if you um, want to do it before you go to bed because it'll help you sleep that, that's a really good one as well if you wake up in the middle of the night because you're not sleeping properly you can do this exercise and it will relax you and help you go back to sleep it will help calm the mind, calm the body, calm the nervous system. Oh, Lily's come back in, so please excuse her if she starts coughing. Um, and it will calm the whole being down. So let's go into it. So I want you to just close your eyes. And just taking a couple of deep breaths, so a nice deep breath in and out. In and out. It doesn't matter whether you're breathing in and out through your nose or in and out through your mouth or in through your nose and out, out of your mouth, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels comfortable for you. So, okay, I want you now to think 
of something in your life where you felt the most unconditional love. Now, if you're a parent, often it is when you hold your babies for the first time and you're loving your babies and cuddling your babies and your children. Um, if uh, it can be for a pet, a, a pet that's either living that you absolutely love to bits or a pet that you have loved that has passed away. Um, it can be a person, again, someone that's living or someone that's passed that you had such a strong bond with. And that unconditional love goes through time and space. It is never ending. When you've got that unconditional love with someone or something, it is never ending. Time and space does not matter. It is there forever within your heart. So I want you to just think of something and it can be an event as well or a person. So think of the person that that uh, you feel unconditional love from and for. And I want you to hold on to that feeling. Now that feeling is so strong. If someone was to say to you, can you write this down and explain it to me? You actually wouldn't be able to because it is so deep. It goes right the way down into the soul. A soul deep feeling of unconditional love. So as you are holding on to that feeling, I want you to take a breath in, breathe in a nice deep breath, breathing that unconditional love in. Feeling it fill your lungs, fill your heart space, and you will automatically feel that your heart resonance is expanding because it is pure unconditional love. And breathing out. And on the out breath, I want you to see the out breath as a gray mist where all stress, anxiety or anything that has happened that is not for your higher purpose uh, is leaving the body and the body then starts to relax naturally. So breathing in again, breathing in that unconditional love. This time I want you to see it as a pink mist entering your body, entering your heart space. You will feel it actually fill your whole chest cavity and breathing out, breathing out the grey mist. You're releasing any stress, any anxiety or anything that no longer serves you and feeling your muscles relaxing. Breathing in again, breathing in that beautiful pink mist, that unconditional love. And in your mind's eye, I want you to see it flood through every cell of your body, right down to your toes, your fingertips and the top of your head. And breathing out. Again, feeling your body relax. Seeing the grey mist leaving, your muscles are relaxing, the tension is leaving. Breathing in again, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love, that pink mist. Seeing it go into every single cell in your body and interacting with your DNA. And breathing out. Releasing, relaxing. Releasing, relaxing. Breathing in again, breathing in that unconditional love, seeing it flood through your body again, only this time it's going to go out through your skin into your energy field. We all have a field around us. So now that unconditional love is going into your field and breathing out, releasing, relaxing, going deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation. Breathing in again, breathing in that unconditional love, seeing it flood through your body and out into your energy field. Now bringing your breath back to what feels normal for you, knowing that each breath in, you're breathing in unconditional love and each breath out, you are releasing what no longer serves you from your body. And your body is feeling more and more relaxed. As you go into a deeper, deeper state of beingness. So on your next breath in, see that unconditional love coming in. And it just feels so calm now and so peaceful as it floods into your energy field. 
You are now sitting or lying in a bubble of unconditional love. How amazing does that feel? And on each breath out, your body and your nervous system and your, everything about you, all your bodies, that's your emotional body, your mental body, your physical body, and your soul body is truly becoming one in this space of total relaxation. And as you're breathing back to normal, what feels right for you, I want you to see in your mind's eye, the outside of your bubble now has a golden rim around it. And as you look beyond that golden rim, you can see that there are golden streams, very thin cords of light that are coming in all the way around that bubble. And that is where we have tapped into the unconditional love in the unified field or the universe or the spirit world, whatever you would like to call it. We've tapped into the highest frequency of unconditional love and that is now streaming into our bubble and coming into our body from all around us now. So just imagine that from now on, every breath in, you're breathing in unconditional love and every breath out, you are releasing what no longer serves you. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Feeling that relaxation in your body. Feeling the tension has gone. It almost feels like you want to just sit and drift away. Because you feel so relaxed. So you can stay in this space as long as you like. a great one to do before you're going to bed. So remember that every breath in from now on you're breathing in un unconditional love and every breath out you're releasing any stress or anxiety from your entire being. So you can open your eyes when you're ready and come back into the room and just feel into your body now. Feel how relaxed you feel. Like I said before that you can do this exercise whenever you like. Probably not a good idea to do it when you're driving or using any machinery. But this really works. And it raises your frequency because you're filling yourself with unconditional love. And as you raise your frequency, you are raising your immune system to fight COVID-19 off. So it's worth doing this exercise every day. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to say cheerio for now. I wish you so much love. I would love for you to comment below of all the creative ideas that you've had come in or that you're wanting to do. Um, I'm sincerely interested uh, because uh, I just love creativity. It really opens us up, like I said before. Um, have fun. I know for some of you, the isolation will be over before it will be for us. And like I said, please look out on my YouTube channel. I will also be posting this onto Facebook and other social media. Um, but please look out on my YouTube channel for these uh, diary, lockdown diary um, uh, 
things that I'm putting out, these videos that I'm putting out, there will be something different every day. So lots of love. If you do want to know more about what I do, please go to my website. It's www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. And if you would like to, please feel free to share any of my videos or any of my posts on Facebook because they are to uplift the uh, vibes of planet Earth and humanity and the nature and the animal kingdoms. And I try and post funny things. I try and post all sorts of informational things and I share things that really resonate with me. So please, please don't stress, go with the flow, just allow and know that everything is happening for a reason. We're going into a total reset and we will come out the other side. So much love from me. Take care wherever you are in the world and please feel free to share all of these videos so that others can also see them. And if you are not a subscriber on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the button to get notifications and then you'll get notifications when I put something new up. So lots of love. Bye for now. Bye.